from Traptex Cast and I am here with uh, one of the matches from the ESL 1 vs 1 Cup played on the 13th of May 2017 and we have the map Port Saunders right here. We have Vindicarix spawned on the right hand side as the Space Marine and on the other hand side we have his opponent Baba Yaga spawned as the orc on the left hand side interesting for me is that he baba yaga that is brought in the commando knob da commando and he brought in the storm boys and the gorgonaut and he brought the dog Creed storm boys command suicide bombers for the truck and the long range rocket for the killer can and a rocket refill for the killer can as well. On the other side for Vindicarix we have um, the doctrines for the improved listening post. We have the ablative armor land speeder which we have seen before by uh, some space marines in the game. And we have the improved scope for the devastator marines and now here we go. Let's get this match on the way. I'm interested. Of course, Vindicarix here also with Elite. He has the Kill Team Iron Maw, he has the Assault Terminators and the Terminators as the, the Nuker Elites. Pretty high in terms of Elite Point cost. He really thinks he can get the mid game through with only his Kill Team Iron Maw. I'm very interested in seeing exactly that. And now we have the Barracks going up here for Vindicarix, most likely on a yes uh, cast one of his assault marine squads into a drop pod and a scout squad onto the field right away. Baba Yaga on his side starts with two slugger boys which are going offensively capping as well as one Gretchen mob who is already offensive and um, in building a wall tower right here on the resource point with the two um, requisition generators right up. The Dakar hut is built interestingly enough or interesting side note I haven't seen any boys hut today from any orc. So boys hut almost in any matchup except orc versus orc which I can't tell um, is neglected here and does he see the scouts no he doesn't yeah because they are in stealth trap check you're dumb you're dumb as fuck so yeah they were in stealth and they were covered by this one so they are not visible at all uh, they get a good scout here of the position of um, the orc right now hasn't kept this thing Baba Yaga is so he is uh, pretty much fine with only having those resource points has a generator going for the electricity for the energy right now Which is getting a little bit contested right over here. Here is the Gretchen squad tying up the scout squad in melee and The slugger boys are on the retreat now because the uh, assault marine and the listening post are coming to the middle point right now meanwhile the assault squad is going to retreat here as well dodges the scan ever so slightly but stealth is still disabled runs into two slugger squads right off the bat a looter squad freshly came out that spells the end of this um scout squad right there here they lay haven't accomplished anything so far except for scout informations which might be valuable nonetheless even if they haven't had an impact so far Gretchen squad now along with the slugger boys going onto the elite point sees the listening post has to retreat for now war tower is gonna be built right there vision is gonna be here for uh, Vindicarix that is the uh, servitor has casted his vision spell over here in comes what seems to be the kill team iron war here and it should drop down any second now 
Okay, it's not the kill team, but what was it? It was... I, I thought it was the kill team. Now, scout snipers deployed here by Vindicarix. Uh, has managed to thin out the boys here a little bit. But the boys are getting reinforced here right away. No problem at all for Baba Yaga. And the assault marines stay here in the shadows hiding waiting for their turn in comes the kill team iron Law. getting teleport warped right there they have the flamer upgrade pretty much because i don't see any plasma thrower right there should be the flamer here comes the flamer they're getting stunned from the slugger squads the assault marines are not moving as well as the sniper squad ah now i know what it is it seems to be this uh, Overwatch thingy from the um, as, uh, from the sniper squad. That that's the icon. All right. So it's not the kill team Iron Maw. It's um, it's the Overwatch ability from those snipers. Uh, that means that they have a increased firing speed when someone reaches that position also doing a little bit of more damage i guess i think kill team iron was still trying to push in here but against the looter squad in this position there might be not a chance here for those three remaining models now we have the second uh, sniper squad right here Having both overwatched this position, he hopes now the orc moves forward, maybe with a war or something, around this position, wants to snipe there. We have an assault marine squad intercepted right there by the storm boys and the sluggers. Suicide bomber coming in, misses ever so slightly, and the standard is gonna be dropped. That means uh, improved speed for the assault marines, but they are walking into the overwatch and the overwatch covers the retreat now the orc will try to follow what happens if he reaches the overwatch squad right there shots are popping off but cleverly the truck moved first the uh, scouts do not do as much damage on the heavy armored vehicles as they do on light armored units of course and uh, the truck pretty much gets only a few scratches and in come the slugger boys getting the beautiful stun off to the scout marines the scout snipers right there suicide bomber misses regardless and in comes the chase i thought but no the snipers are going away and the slugger boys are not chasing anything here yeah, looters here are on the top laying waste to that servitor right there that spelled the end for him and he Tears away at that Doctrine Chapel right there. In comes Kill Team Iron War. Clever, clever use of the tractor beam right there. Truck has to move a little bit slow right there. <laughs> uh, throws the looters on to... Wow! On to the scout snipers. Are the stun and the suicide bombers right there. Spelled the end for them. And now the assault marines on to the looters. But with the remaining two models of the sluggers the assault marines mm, uh, getting stunned looters coming in here as well the restun boys are now in there as well suicide bomber coming and now the assault marines down to one model remaining kill team iron ball with the flamer another suicide bomber that was at least two models one model that went down here for the kill team iron ball overwatch still is casted that is bad for the um, Storm Boys right there, but they chasing regardless. Uh, Storm Boys now in the shadows. Uh, the Storm Boys Scout Marines are now in the shadows. The Scout Snipers that is. Kill Team Iron War comes with a flamethrower. And the Looter Boys are getting Tractor Beam back into the truck, but getting ejected outright as the truck explodes into a Graviton Grenade right here. And the last remaining Storm Boy gets killed as well during his last flight. That is sad. That is oh so sad. Kill Team Iron War pots himself back 
to the orbital station to get dropped later in the engagement. Now we have the assault marines here lurking in the shadows, wanted to try to bash those generators as they see he hasn't even touched them right now. Now they are trying to cap them by themselves and uh, Vinicarix is looking to come ahead here in this game so far um, those guys traded pretty evenly I might add but as far as map control goes with that point being captured map control goes to Vindicarex so he's looking to do some damage to the energy generator right there to the shear generator that is kill team ironball jumps back in again most likely will get upgraded with a plasma thrower here to improve the damage there is some overwatch thingy going off suicide bomber coming in takes away almost all of the models looter is for the stun are getting ejected there as well graviton grenade is getting in but too late assault marines jumping a little bit too far here to get the truck but maybe on the retreat they are hammering away at this truck but haven't gotten the power sword upgrade uh, until now i think uh, no no power sword upgrade right now uh, but now with two assault marine squad and a listening post hammering away at this truck it looks dire for that truck it can't barely move explodes now in beautiful flames as i might add and so far this has been a win for Vindicari who goes now to claim his reward that is the shield generator for him and the commando knob is on the way what does he do here he plants a trap right around here is getting spotted by the servitor right around the corner uh, is still in stealth until now until he tried to focus this um, servitor into melee gets now tractor pulled in back meanwhile the energy shield generator the shield generator will fall and therefore it's one shield generator down for uh, Vindicarex, who has the lead right now, pretty much, as Baba, Baba Yaga is trying to uh, for the is trying to get to the revenge part with, but one Slugger by Squad won't be enough for that. I don't think they will. They have to tear away almost half an hour to get this thing down by themselves. So. Storm boys are coming to the rescue here and trying to make this as fast as humanly possible. Meanwhile, both trucks are in a dire situation as two assault marines are getting into the fight as well. And the commando is back into the truck, will most likely get uh, thrown out again as they as another last cannon team gets dropped by the space marine and the terminators are available as well i wonder if they get somehow called into the match right now by vindicarex here they are they are pounding away at those this orc army they managed to get the shield generator to half health but there is nothing more to be done as the Terminators are wrecking those forces by the uh, Orc there. One Slugger squad is going down to the heavy machine fire of the Devastators right there. The last coming team in desperate moves here in melee versus an entire assault marine squad. In comes the rockets on the war tower. Will Baba Yaga... Uh, be able to defend this point this forward location his last foothold on the map here on Port Sanderis uh, Will he able will he be able to do that so far? There is only one single killer can which carries the hope of this entire Orc army the Ducker hut is getting focused next war tower already down the um, Commando is placing a trap right there is trying to charge this scrap now uh, Vindicarex knows that the uh, commando knob is here is trying to be as cautiously as he can around the trap if he stands here too long though he might take damage but that's not the case he goes away as soon as he saw the scrap charging and the commando knob still trying to make an impact here on the match as the rockets are pounding away on this energy shield generator 
now he has tried and has successfully stunned the um, the terminators that is terminators are down to one model now as the commando goes into the melee fight ties the last cannon squad into melee has to retreat now because the land speeder comes in and with the dps of the land speeder the orc has the commando has to go away also the killer camp gets moved away here gets jumped into safety but that leaves the, uh, the shield generator vulnerable for the next attack also we have the um, terminators going back to the base to reinforce shield generator on this side is going down therefore it's two to zero shield in terms of shield generators for vindicarix we have a whirlwind artillery on the field for vindicarix as well as long uh, along with two more less cannon squads so the pressure is on what will the orc do in this dire situation here for him he is miles away from his nine point elite 60 seconds for his storm boys to come back the land speeder has to come, has to draw away because he got uh, heavy fired by this killer can spot. But killer cans do not as, do as much damage to light armored units as they do to the heavy armored speed, um, the heavy armored speeders. Therefore, with two, with one last cannon squad and the um, kill team Iron Maw here, this listening post will fall for sure. Will he go for the generator bash? Yes, he will do that as well. So the generators might fall here next. The kill team Iron Maw down to two models, though. Might have to be careful if the commando knobs tries to swoop in there and gets one or two pop shots off. That might be a little bit bad for all the uh, kill team iron wall which is there and is trying to bash away at the generators right now but here comes the whirlwind artillery trying to make an impact with the artillery shots that are going off um, has managed to make a little bit of, of damage here on those two buildings in come the storm boys which are finally available now for baba yaga he is desperate now he is on the last foothold of defense right there we have the overwatch casted right here so if the commando knob uh, if the killer cans are trying to intercept the units right over there they will get shot at but it won't be as much damage because those uh, scout marine snipers are doing not as much damage to the heavy, heavy weapons as the last cannons do now last cannons on the other hand do not do as much damage to the light armored units and that makes it interesting we have a suicide spot bomber going up into flames as it charges right into the terminators costed them one model uh, another rocket misses barely we have a dreadnought on the field for vindicarix who is still in a dire hold position who is still in a hold position here on the arc he has his uh, grab around the neck of the orc while the commando is sneaking up here on the last cannon squad and the uh, and the kill team iron Maw decides to go for the last cannon squad uh goes off with some with some melee uh with some melee hits last cannons watching or going into cover in stealth last remaining model here for the last cannon squad meanwhile the orc is getting into the fray with two trucks or one i might add one truck already fallen while the terminators are do down to one model and we have now three killer cans along with the gretchen squad to immediately repair those as baba yaga is trying to hold on desperately to this ma first match on port saunders here right now uh yeah what else can we say at this point we have the units retreating right on there we have another last cannon squad coming up for vindicarex we have um nothing in production so far for um for baba yaga unless we count the um the gretchen mobs here in pilot guns is getting ready he is now going for a second one wants to go for a double tech route if that is uh, both of the weapons both of the shields or just the vehicle weapons and the shields remains to be seen <coughs> 
So far, a little bit of a peaceful atmosphere here on the map. That allows me maybe to drink a sip. But I have a feeling that we are working towards the end of this matchup. Well, with artillery shoots his artillery, where does it hit? It hits right on over there onto the Storm Boys. Beautiful hits, reduces the Storm Boys to only three models left. Dreadnought is taking the shots here from the turret. Meanwhile, the last cannon squad gets up and gets ready to fire. Uh, Dreadnought is pounding away on the commando, pushes him back and down goes the turret here for uh, Baba Yaga, for uh, Vindicarex, sorry. Um, and with that, uh, Vindicarex has free reign over the base of Baba Yaga here. Baba Yaga is desperate, trying to hold this position here as much as he can, has now to direct everything that he has left onto the core. The commando goes into trouble right here, has just one health uh, slot remaining. Rockets are coming in, hitting beautifully the tech marines, but unfortunately th those are the weakest points of the um, of the army of Vindicarex. The power swords for the um, assault marines are hammering away on the stack of Damek shop right there. The uh, Assault Marines and the uh, Terminators are doing the rest here to spell and for the Mech Shop and the uh, Pile of Guns right there. We have the um, Killer Cans looting away on that Pile of Guns throwing rockets at the Terminators which are now ported to this side of the map. Now all three uh, elites are up for Vindicarex. And we have the assault termi the terminators right here on the right side, while we have the um, assault terminators. Yeah, it's one is terminators, one is assault terminators uh, on the left side of the map, or if you want to say top and bottom, um, yeah, then say top and bottom. <laughs> I just try to do it right and left, but doesn't really matter. Uh, Vindicarex draws back for now, but he remain he remains the chokehold. Um, he remains to choke uh, Baba Yaga here slowly but surely to death. This grip tightens longer, tightens tightens more and more. My God, what is wrong with me today? Um, yeah, it tightens more and more as the commando tries to get in there, get spotted immediately. Uh, two wonderful rockets, unfortunately only hitting a little bit of the Dreadnought. Dreadnought now to half HP, but gets quickly repaired by those servitors which are standing ready right away. Assault, um, no, there are the Terminators. Terminators are machine firing away on that commando. Commando manages to take out a whole squad of assault marines right there. That is the power of the commando, but can't do anything against those uh, terminators right there, except stunning them, of course, but the stealth is disabled for now, for him, as the truck is only here with a slither of health. One more pop shot from the last cannon and the the truck is history. Now, uh, the core. Vindicarex has the core in mind. There goes the rockets. There come the, uh, the remaining pots with the assault marines left and right. Going away onto the killer cans. Trying to get them somehow to clump up in melee. But so far Baba Yaga does a good job of evading the damage here from the assault marines. Uh, Vindicarex doesn't want to go into the range of the next turret. Of course not. Core, core now shielded for Baba Yaga. Does that buy him enough time? Rockets are flying in, hitting the Dreadnought once again. Another rocket shot onto the Dreadnought. Will he at least get the Dreadnought here at the end of the match as he desperately clings on to this? But I think that could be as well, could be the end as well. Power Swords hacking away on the core, last cannon team and that spell. GG in this first match on this best of three. 
uh, in the one versus one ESL Cup. Vindicar is here the winner, has the lead with 1-0 and we go into the next round. I see you there.